I'm here in Livermore, California at the brand new Electrify America location. And this is a special one because it's the first one here in California that can do a 350 kilowatt charge. Now, granted, there is no car out there right now that can take it. The next, the, the first one that, that's coming to market is about a, a year away and it's a Porsche Taycan. Um, but it's exciting to see it actually being here. As you know, uh, uh, Electrify America is a subsidiary of Volkswagen Group uh, that was created as part of the punishment, if you will, for the diesel gate. But that's a whole different story. Um, and they've put a lot of money into this. And um, we're finally seeing this location pop up uh, here in California, in the United States and Canada. I know in Europe, you guys have Ionity. It was also partially invested by Volkswagen Group and then others like Daimler, the parent company of Mercedes-Benz and BMW. But this is really the alternative to the Tesla supercharger network that all the Tesla owners enjoy. Um, now, even though I was excited to get here, uh, once I did, uh, I didn't get as excited because uh, I noticed that most of them, as in fact, I only see one uh, 50 kilowatt Chetamo over there, but everybody, all, all other ones have CCS. Now, besides this being a really ugly and bulky um, connector, um, the problem is, is that um, not very many cars can charge with this. There are quite a few Teslas that came around and realized that. Um, I think uh, I think there were uh, 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 C-Max, four C-Max was here uh, that also realized they can't charge this. CCS is not a standard here in the United States um, that people, um, uh, that, that most cars, electric cars have. So that's problem number one. And by the way, there are no adapters. I mean, this is a pretty powerful uh, current over here. So you can't just, you know, create a, a, you know, 3D print an adapter for this. It will melt the hell out of it. Um, so even though there are quite a few cars parked here, not many of them are charging simply because they can't. Um, and that's a problem. I was kind of expecting that they will probably have, you know, maybe type two uh, and more Chatamos here. So it will give a chance to other cars, including Tesla using their adapters to charge. But essentially it, it rendered most of it uh, kind of useless. Um, so they're also having a problem with accepting payments right now. So quite a few owners of like a BMW i3 here, and obviously Volkswagen e-Golf can, can take uh, CCS. Um, they had to walk away without uh, being able to charge. Um, you know, obviously that is a temporary problem, but nevertheless, this is Christmas shopping time and it is Saturday. So if at any point in time it should have been working, it should be working right now. But um, let's let, let's talk a little bit uh, about why this is this is uh, positive and why this is exciting. Once all of this is taken care of, before that, of course, I want to remind you that this show and this channel is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla. That cannot be charging right now. That's why none of them are here in the background. Um, but there's a discount code in the description of this video. Go ahead and grab it so you can save yourselves a few bucks. All right. Now, as you know, until now. Uh, this 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 has been pretty rare, right? We were kind of relying. I don't even want to say relying. Uh, there is a charge point and EVgo, and you know those are you know not a fast charging uh, networks. Uh, definitely not something that you can count on when you are taking long distance trips. Now, granted, this one is in the mall, so this is for maybe kind of people to charge while they're out and about, and maybe driving a little bit more on their Saturday afternoon than they would during the week. But generally speaking, in the future. These are the locations that you will need for uh, fast charging uh, when you're taking a long road trip. Um, 350 kilowatts can actually charge your car in about 10 uh, to you know 12 minutes, which is more acceptable. As you know, I'm not a big fan of a Tesla supercharger network, which I kind of don't really use anymore because I bought a Chevy Volt and I know I'm using a little bit of gas. But you know, to me, you know, having to stop twice between San Francisco Bay Area or Sacramento and Los Angeles, um, adding about an hour and a half to my already long drive um, is just, you know, for, for my lifestyle, for my schedule is not acceptable. Um, it's just too much wasted time. And that's why, you know, it's not for me. And listen, let, let's be honest. When, when there's a new technology that comes on the market, the best chance of it being adopted by everybody, or at least most people, is that if it's not if, if it's at least as good as what people have right now. And listen, when you takes 45 minutes to, re, you know, refuel your car, um, the electric car compared to your gas car, you can, you can get it done in three minutes. 
Well, it does make a big difference and much tougher. It's a much tougher sell uh, for this new electric car technology. Um, now, you know, I'm a huge fan of battery swap because that can be done really quick. That also opens up a concept of leasing your battery and battery not having necessarily to be part of your car. This is something you can upgrade, downgrade. Um, it always, you know, you don't have to worry about degradation of the battery. Um, Neo, a Chinese company that just went public in here in the United States, they just put uh, their fleet, uh, they're, they're, they're now in production with their electric car, and they put together a few charging stations, uh, uh, battery swapping stations uh, in, in China, and I hope this is going to be something that maybe other manufacturers will definitely consider. Now, we know Tesla had actually tried this uh, a few years ago and decided not to go with it. As a matter of fact, the new uh, Model 3 and Model Y probably will not even have a capability for that, um, but I really do think that it's a technology that probably should be giving um, another chance. Um, now, th by the way, not all of these uh, charging stations are 350 uh, kilowatts. Some of them are 150 because it's more realistic. Uh, let me remind you that Tesla's um, Tesla superchargers are about 135 kilowatts, uh, but the cars can only take about 120 or up to 120 kilowatts. Um, obviously, uh, version three uh, are coming up, uh, but that's that's still it's up to the actual cars whether or not they can take charge. Listen, there's still a lot of issues that we need to solve, but at least we have something going on. At least we have this uh, Electrify America project here that's going to be building out this network. Hopefully they'll be learning their lessons and correcting their course um, as, as all of these uh, problems, kind of they have to face all of these problems. Um, and, and obviously we as a community will have to do the same let me know what you guys think uh tell me if this is uh, this is something that you're excited about tell me if this is something that's going to you know help you decide whether or not you want to get an electric car looking forward to your comments other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged